Good afternoon, it's Thursday. How exciting. We're going live on my page called Botanicomy and Alchemy of Soothing Botanic Ingredients. Um, as Instagram and Facebook are sorting themselves out to go live, I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds for everyone to start logging in and say welcome. It is my second episode for this year, carrying on with the chemistry series, but it is in fact now already the fourth um, set or episode in this particular chemistry series. So lots you've missed out on if you're only just joining. Please always go and catch the replays on my YouTube channel or even on my Instagram IGE TV section or on my Facebook um, on the timeline or the videos. I can see Alzette is logged in. Oh, so awesome to have you on. Welcome. And we also have Alani Boringer that's just signed in. Welcome. Good to have you on today to come and learn a little bit more about why essential oils are so very effective. In other words, their chemistry, what it is that they're doing for our bodies and our minds and our souls. Um, I can see that Holistic Meme has joined, as well as Catherine. So good to have you on today. Um, I see you've had an incredible session yesterday. Uh, going, she's, she's doing all these amazing little walks upstairs. They're not little, I'm just saying little. <laughs> she runs up these crazy stairs in Joburg and she's having a really good time becoming really nice and fit this time of year, which is really effective. And then they alternate that with going hiking in some gardens. So what are you up to this year to try and increase your fitness level? Tone those muscles and tone those, um, those bones. We need to do some, some lifting of weights as well, especially as women as we grow older. Then it definitely assists our body to um, keep our bones nice and strong. Yay, Bev, you made it. I'm so happy you're here. And yes, hey, um, Holistic May is also saying hey. So good. So if you are on my Facebook, I can't see that you're there yet because you haven't commented. So if you would like me to give you a shout out, I can see there's a, a lot of people on. Um, but if you want your name mentioned, please just say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're from, maybe. And what excites you about either essential oils um, or chemistry of essential oils? What do you find exciting about that? Because this is my passion. <laughs> I get incredibly excited when I talk about the chemistry behind why certain things work. Some people are just okay of getting uh, uh, information from someone where they tell them, okay, hang on, use this and this and this and this, and then they, then they do it and, and everything is hunky-dory. I am that, in that eternal scientist. Uh, the reason why I studied for 11 years, I'm still studying. Even though it's not professionally at a university, for example, I carry on feeding information into this brain every single day of my life because it is really exciting to me. It helps me to grow and expand and to become more resilient. I can also see um, Paula's logged in. Welcome, Paula. So yeah, today we're talking about more things that I have researched and that is increasing my knowledge and then helps me to explain to you guys why I really find these oils so incredibly fascinating. So what is it going, what is your goal going to be for this year? Is it going to be because um, be becoming more natural? Um, would you like to start incorporating some natural solutions into your life? A lot of people are moving that way because our bodies obviously respond incredibly well to what is being produced by plants because they work in a similar way. So how the essential oils or the aromatics would work in a plant, they could offer a lot of the same benefits to us as humans. I can also see uh, Natalie Murouse is logged in on Insta as well as Oil Love Teacher. Fantastic. Um, so really awesome to have you guys on. I can see again, there's more and more people logging in on Facebook, but still no comments. Maybe it's not showing me. Hang on, let me just click a button. Nope, nope. Please remember to say hi. Hmm. So let's get started. Um, if your goal is obviously to start incorporating the natural solutions, wouldn't it be amazing if you knew why you needed to incorporate them, how to use them effectively, um, why they could make such a difference in your life? Those why questions are what fascinates a scientist, right? These are the questions we ask all the time and it's not because we're questioning you. We just have that natural thought pattern of not second guessing everything, but understanding or trying to understand how things work and why they work, all right? So that's why I'm going to teach you today about a beautiful constituent called linoleal acetate. Yay, I can see Lazan Jeffries has said, just said hi on Facebook. Really good to have you on today. She's actually doing my gut health detox challenge with me, um, a newbie into my group. So we are on day two today, incorporating natural solutions and really good tools 
to support our bodies to detox on a natural and a slow past way. We're not looking for overreactions and any kind of ridiculous reactions in our body at all. Um, our bodies are very equipped to naturally detox. Sometimes they just need a little bit of help. All right, so I can see Thavius has just logged in as well saying hi. Really good to have you on today. So linoleal acetate, what is, this, what is this chemical? Because remember, we're always talking about Team U as my very favorite yoga instructor, Kira, um, Yoga with Kira always talks about. Our bodies are Team U and we've always got to listen to what's going on in our bodies and try not to move one without the other and see how it affects something else in your body. Shamane has also just come on to Facebook, welcome. And Lindy Loxton, a newbie on Insta, good to have you here. Thank you for joining. So when we talk about team you or team me, we can also about, talk about team essential oil because one essential oil, even if it's a single oil, has got a large array of chemical constituents in there that are all working together because the plant produced them together um, to be supporting the body and the mind in a certain manner. So when we isolate a component, our bodies rarely know what to do with it. So Yes, there are a lot of research studies showing what the essential oil chemical constituents on their own do, specifically, for example, in um, cell culture lines or even animal studies. But I think you've always got to understand that that is not going to be the sole or end all of that particular chemical con constituent because it will always be influenced by what is in the rest of the oil, right? All of these molecules start affecting each other as well. So the reason why we are delving into seeing what these separate parts of the chemistry is doing in these oils is simply to understand where we can start swapping out oils. So for example, if you're after the properties of a linoleal acetate, but you don't have a particular oil um, that is incredibly high in that concentration of linoleal acetate, you could always swap it out for another oil, which also contains the linoleal acetate, and it's going to have a similar benefit. And this is very important, especially if you start working with oils that you don't necessarily like the fragrance of. We're gonna be talking about one of those for me today, actually. <laughs> um, and this is then quite easy because then you know what you can swap them out for. Also, when you're looking for additional benefits, so because they have this beautiful chemistry of many chemical constituents, it gives you then the ability to decide, okay, I want this property, but I would also like this and this and this property. And therefore, I'm rather gonna choose a bergamot versus a lavender, for example. So that's why going into the science a little bit more is so incredibly exciting because it empowers you to decide which of the oils containing the linoleal acetate I would like to use today. All right, so let's get into it. Linoleal acetate is an ester. Now this is a molecule that we haven't spoken a lot about before. So the linoleal acetate, if I can just go back there, it's a functional group that results from the reaction between an alcohol and an acid. But what the, is, the, the esters are very, very well known for is that they are incredibly calming and they are very restoring. And, and in particular, linoleal acetate itself is one of the most calming molecules that you will come across. So we usually use oils that are high in very, um, or in linoleal acetate when we would like to reduce our stressful feelings or when we want um, to prepare ourselves for a meditation session, which is, by the way, a very good tool to incorporate into your daily detox regime, not only for your body and the physiological changes that you are going to be experiencing and the benefits, but definitely also for the mind. So it's going to help with that mind detox, especially if you're going through a detox this time of the year. And it's also going to help you to prepare for sleep, um, all the oils that are very high in linoleal acetate. So the esters aromatically, as I say, they're incredibly soothing, they're inc incredibly balancing for your body systems. When we're going to be using them topically or dermally, they are usually very rejuvenating to the skin because they soothe tissues, they have anti-inflammatory benefits, and they also have the ability to protect against certain environmental threats, right? Because they are so soothing specifically to the skin. So if you think skin irritations that you may have picked up from something that your skin doesn't like, the oils high in linoleal acetate are usually the ones that are going to be incredibly supportive. We can also use some of these oils that are high in esters and specifically linoleal acetate internally. So in other words, orally or a drop under the tongue. So putting it into an empty veggie capsule, for example, or putting a drop under your tongue. But here, please use with caution, only use a tested grade essential oil. Always go for the companies that are willing to share their lab results for you because that means they're transparent enough 
to tell you they've done the necessary robust testing to make sure their oils are very, very pure and that they do in fact know that it's not been adulterated. And we're going to talk about adulteration in a minute um, because actually linoleal acetate is uh, synth um, synthesized in a lab very easily. And it's also one of the molecules when they have produced an oil, for example, that doesn't have an aromatic profile as it should because they maybe have something went wrong during the growing process or maybe there was an issue with the distillation and they would like to alter the chemi chemistry of that profile of that oil to make it more acceptable in quality standards. Linoleal acetate synthetically produced is usually one that they add in. So, for example, if we think about ylang ylang, it's not an oil that's really got to contain linoleal acetate, um, not supposed to, but ylang ylang is an incredibly precious and very expensive oil to produce. So when their aromatic profile is not up to scratch because they may have used a different plant to make it cheaper, in other words, adulteration in that manner, a little bit sneaky, sneaky, yes, then they could add molecules like linoleal acetate. It's just one of them. There's a quite a long list that they produce synthetically that they can alter the chemistry with quite easily. Um, linoleal acetate is one of those that's going to give you the aromatic profile that you're after because you're going to get that floral note because linoleal acetate and linoleal, those are the ones that are usually high in floral oils. And you're going to get that same kind of idea from the oil and you're going to think it's the real thing. So quality definitely is important, especially if you're going to be using them therapeutically, like I'm teaching you in my live lessons every single Thursday. So let's talk about on the emotional side specifically. Um, one of the oils that are, um, or one of the oils that is incredibly high in linoleal acetate um, is very well known for helping individuals to change their perception. So it gives you almost the courage to see the truth um, makes you more accepting and here's the the kicker helps us to see and feel our limiting beliefs and I now believe this is probably one of the very big reasons why I am so averted to for example clary sage and petty grain <laughs> I really don't like the fragrance I use I know how therapeutically good they are for my body and my mind therefore I usually layer them with other oils so I don't necessarily have to smell them so strongly or I apply them to my feet or to my ankle bones where they're very far away from my nose, for example. Yes, those of you that know me in person, I am quite tall, so that is very far away from me. Um, but it, it could be because of the emotional sort of thing that's going on in my mind when I'm smelling these oils because it's forcing me to look at my limiting beliefs. But this in itself is an absolute superpower. Because what it's going to help us do is to open up our creative challenge. So where we used to see blocks, for example, um, they now may no longer be blocks. It's going to help us to open up our imagination and rather see these as opportunities to learn more, to expand, to grow and to become more resilient. So how powerful is that? So it will bring clarity, for example, um, makes you more open minded and it invigorates your imagination. All right. So go grab your Clary Sage, I dare you. <laughs> I'm probably going to do a lot more of Clary Sage in my diffuser as well. So let's look on the physical side. Um, and this is where the chemistry is really cool. Linoleal acetate hydrolyzes. Now what that means is it breaks up through the enzymes in your gastric juices. So when you're going to be using a tested great oil and you're going to be using it internally, linoleal acetate actually gets hydrolyzed or gets broken down to linoleal. Now, linoleal, I've already done a, a live class on this. So if you haven't seen that yet and all the amazing properties and beneficial, it was a very long lesson, in fact, because linoleal is so well researched and it's so beneficial to the body. So please go backtrack and go and watch the episode on linoleal specifically. But now that means you're going to get a double whammy. So when you're using the oil internally, the linoleal acetate breaks down to linoleal in your gastric juices and then what usually happens is most essential oils that have a high concentration of linoleal acetate also has linoleal present, all right? That means you're going to get a double whammy of linoleal. How awesome! <laughs> and you're going to get all the benefits then from the linoleal acetate, but also the increased benefit because the oil, the essential oil is being metabolized into a secondary metabolite. And this is where all the biochemistry and all the clinical trials um, are taking place to see how these things are breaking down and how supportive they can be because secondary metabolites are as important as the original part as it comes into your body. 
So this is why I'm saying purity is absolutely key. If you're going to be using this oil internally for that double whammy effect, you're going to want to use a pure tested grade oil. So um, let's talk about the linoleal and the acetate, um, the linoleal acetate, sorry, and the linoleal oil. Um, it actually, these chemicals are very easily taken up by the body and they usually get detected in the blood very, very soon after you use an essential oil, aromatically or dermally or internally. Okay, it gets into the blood quite quickly. And studies on mice have shown that these compounds actually inhibit several neurotransmitters and have a sedative and a pain relieving supportive benefit because they are anti-inflammatory. All right, so here is already an indication how you can start using these essential oils because in humans, specifically lavender that they've tested, which is very high in linoleal acetate as well as linoleal, um, lowers the heart rate and it reduces occasional anxious feelings. And that's where that cardiovascular benefit is going to come in. So um, if I just go backtrack a little bit, um, linoleal acetate specifically has antispasmodic, um, cardiotonic, in other words, vitalizes the heart and the cardiovascular system, um, toning it, in other words, making it stronger. It's also digestive stimulating. Um, if you're going to be using it internally, and it can have rubefacient properties as well. In other words, increasing circulation. Um, so really, really amazing. And there's an, an another study which I find quite interesting. It's again in, a, in an animal model, in a rat model specifically, where they were testing um, secondary smoke inhalation. So background smoking, secondary smoke inhalation is a real issue sometimes. And what they're doing here is trying to see what natural compounds are actually going to be very supportive when you're trying to deal with that secondary effect that you get um, pulmonary from inhaling secondary smoke. Um, I can see Leanne Prince has also just logged in on Facebook. Uh, very welcome to have, um, very welcome and good to have you on today. Sorry, the tongue is twisting there. <laughs> um, so in this rat model specifically, they then induce a situation which would simulate um, inhaling secondary smoke. Um, obviously that causes quite a lot of inflammatory condition. And then basically they administered um, the linoleal acetate. And what they found is that it recovers cell damage, all right? It's supportive in that. And it also has a cardiovascular effect. In other words, cardiovascular changes were detected. And the reason why they saw these things is basically, if I can explain it a little bit more layman is, it has a relaxing effect on the mouse aorta. In other words, your, your, now I can't, I can only think of the Afrikaans word, the big vein, the big vein out of the heart, right? <laughs> it relaxes the vein, right? And it also has the anti-inflammatory benefit and it also decreased the nicotine induced nitrite levels because remember nitrite is one of the poisons um, that you would get from the secondary inhalation of smoke as well. So here you can see that a lot of these natural components are now being tested um, specifically because they know um, they may have some kind of benefit. So that really is amazing. That would be a good enough sign for me to put something in a diffuser if you're in an area where there's a lot of people smoking, for example. All right. Even though it's a rat study, um, because of the calming benefits as well as the anti-inflammatory benefits, inhaling, diffusing, um, wouldn't hurt to put it in a diffuser in my opinion. So lavender and clary sage, I can call them chemical twins, okay, um, because of their chemistry. Um, that actually almost sounds like a song title. <laughs> Let's call them chemical twins. All right, fantastic. Sorry about that. Mind going. So clary sage, incredibly high um, in linoleal acetate. And the reason why, by the way, I'm saying they're clinical twins is both lavender and clary sage are very high in the linoleal acetate as well as the linoleal. I can see Quivers has just, just logged in as well. Welcome on Facebook. Good to have you. So um, the clary sage specifically has the linoleal acetate between 40 to 75%. That is huge. That is a very high percentage. Okay, so if you're after the linoleal acetate, go for the clary sage. Um, it promotes very healthy looking skin and hair. Um, there's actually quite a lot of DIY um, products that you can make at home for heat protection um, when you are going to be heat styling your hair and clary sage is usually one of the oils that goes into that heat protectant spray simply because it is so very beneficial to your hair. I can see Chris is logged in from the UK as well. I believe it's quite cold there. <laughs> Hope you're well. 
Um, so yes, clary sage, if you're going to be using it on the skin and the hair, very beneficial. You'll also get the aromatic components that are really supportive. Um, and it's also very well known that if you apply clary sage to your abdominal area, it can relieve the discomfort or the sensations that you get when you are on your menstrual cycle, when that is really painful. This very herbaceous oil is also used internally um, and externally, so aromatically, um, internally and on, on the skin with all the benefits. And when you apply it topically, obviously you're going to get the skin benefits, but it's also going to be going into your cells. Remember these molecules are very teeny tiny. They're fat loving. Um, our cell membranes are made of fat. And basically some of the molecules have the ability to interact with the molecules on the outside of the cell membrane, cascade of reactions taking place. But a lot of them are able to pass inside the cell through that cell membrane and then have a supportive effect on the body. So clary, car, oh, sorry, yeah, clary sage, it promotes the feelings of re relaxation. Um, and because of the very high linoleal acetate in there, in combination with the linoleol, this is a really good oil to use when you would like to improve your sleep quality. So during your sleep hygiene, that simply means the routine before you get into bed to help your body relax and fall asleep a lot quicker and have better quality sleep, um, clary sage can be one of the oils that you incorporate there. So either putting under the feet, ankle bones, far away from the nose in my case, or in a diffuser next to your bed. Yes, Chris is saying it's three in UK today. <laughs> it's very warm here, by the way, if you're interested. It's also very supportive to the endocrine system. So if you're looking for the linoleal acetate and you also want to support your hormones, clary sage is usually the one you're going to be going for. It is very well known in, and, and included in many blends that a lot of humans, oh, humans, listen to me, yes, we're human as women, <laughs> but a lot of women's blends where we need to support our hormones as we go through our different life stages always contain clary sage in there because of the very supportive benefits that it has. Let's look at the next one that we can swap out if you want to go for the linoleal acetate. Pedigrain, 40 to 65 percent, again very high in that specific chemical constituent. Experimental research shows that pedigrain supports a lot of our internal systems, such as the immune system, also the cardiovascular, now we know why, remember those heart, um, the heart studies in the rats, as well as the digestive system. And it's also really good as antioxidant support. Now, pettigrain is one of those oils that I know a lot of people use, specifically high linoleal acetate, yes, to promote restful sleep. But it's also one of those that works better for sleep when you're going to be using it internally, right? So definitely a really good one to have around. I can see that Lani is saying Germany is also very cold and rainy. Um, she misses the warm weather in Namibia. I really like cold rainy weather. Maybe we could swap. Blani, shall, shall we make a house swap? I think that sounds like a good plan. It's a lot of rain here as well. There's a lot of flooding going on at the moment, um, but definitely I like the cooler temperatures. So the next one on the list is bergamot. Now bergamot, oh, what a rock star for emotions this oil is. 10 to 45% um, specifically on the linoleal acetate. This is the one that also induces oxytocin production, like that hugging hormone. Bergamot is a really awesome oil to have around in the home. Um, it is very high in uh, um, the sun factor. So although we tend to say bergamot is very cleansing and very rejuvenating to the skin specifically, if you are in a sunny country and you've got high UV index, please do not apply this aromatic, oh sorry, aromatic, dermally to your skin if you're going to be going into the sun um, in 12 hours. All right. You do get some uh, companies that sell a, a bergamot oil where they've taken that component out, um, but most of them don't. And therefore, just be careful when you're going to be applying it dermally or put it onto your body in your um, area on your body where you're not going to be exposed to the sun. So we diffuse bergamot um, very often to um, soothe anxious feelings, for example, to help with calming. Um, as I said, really good for purifying the skin. And it's very frequently used in massage blends, um, in spas, for example, because of the calming benefits. Um, just think about Earl Grey tea. <laughs> There's a reason why Earl Grey tea, uh, which is supposed to be very calming and soothing, is from the bergamot plant, when you buy the real thing, right? It, you can make your own bergamot or Earl Grey tea, by the way, by just using black tea bags and then dropping a drop of two of a bergamot essential oil on the tea bag. Wait for it to seep into the tea leaves, right? So that when you do pour the, um, the whole um, boiling water over it, so that it's already dispersed in the tea leaves and then it, you know, it sort of separates through the drink instead of just floating on the top. 
So bergamot contains limonene, linoleal acetate, and linalool. So uplifting, calming, and soothing all at the same time. I mean, what an absolute powerhouse of an oil. So often bergamot is, this is the sad part, adulterated by using lemon and lavender because of the limonene and the linalool and the acetate because of their similar chemistry makeup. So here again, if you're going to be wanting to use the bergamot for the linoleal acetate, make sure that you're using a pure one and that it hasn't been contaminated with any other chemical constituents. So in summary, basically, absolute amazing chemical, converts to linalool in your gastric juices in your tummy when you're going to be using it internally, and it's minimally skin reactive and is non-toxic. So you can use this um, the oils high in linoleal acetate quite frequently. You can use them dermally. Just some of them will be um, sun um, sensitive. So like the bergamot, for example. So just don't use that one before you go into the sun, but the rest of them should be fine. And then you can also use them internally, either to support the digestive system or the cardiovascular system or um, cell health, general cell health. All right. And if you're going to be using it internally, especially if you want to have that soothing effect before you go to bed as part of your um, uh, sleep hygiene routine, definitely make sure that you're using a pure tested great oil. Always ask for the lab results for that particular batch of oil because then at least you know what you're putting inside your body. Okay, If you don't have these oils that I'm talking about that are safe to use internally and you don't know where to find them, you do know where to find them. I'm right here. <laughs> Reach out to me on social media. Um, I'll help you to get hold of these fantastic essential oils. Have a great day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson on linoleal acetate, usually in combination with linoleal. And then I'll see you back here again next week, Thursday at 12 noon for my next live on my Botanical Me page in Alchemy of Soothing Botanic Ingredients with Dr. T teaching you very passionately why essential oils work and why they support your body so well. Have a great weekend and Friday. Cheerio.